Excuse me. My little boy is in there. He was on the school bus, and I hope someone would do this for him. Where do you want me? Right here. This is daunting. The box has finally got here. Didn't we have a plan? Yes. Okay, tell me the plan. Mark each carton on a list that corresponded to a description of the carton's contents. Yes, right, perfect. And that way we knew the things that we needed right away versus the things we can put in storage. Exactly. Yes. Where did you put the list? Oh, oh boy, devil's in the details, ain't it? Please try and remember where you put that list. I know where I put it, that's not the problem. Where did you put it? Uh, in one of these cartons. Holy shit. Jake Spindle. And you are? used to throw my doll in the lake every afternoon during the summer, and then laugh. Bella, you are not the little girl I remember. 20 years will do that. You, however, are exactly how I remember you. I mean, you're working here now? I needed a break. What kind of break? From work, life, everything. I don't know. Morning Pilates. Don't you mean you missed your session with Rick the Dick? He's my trainer. Robert's son hasn't even moved in yet. He's still staying with his grandmother right now. How was the funeral? I'm sitting there watching this seven-year-old try to be stoic at his mother's grave, while I am in a full-out panic about how to be a stepmother. Well, thank God for boarding school. You can't be serious. Try being a mother for five minutes. I just think that I want to do things a little bit differently. Don't give me the loving parent bullshit. If you want to pretend to be a parent from 100 miles away so that you can sleep with 20-year-old trainers and get wine drunk in the morning and still call yourself a mom, that's fine. But don't attack me when I want to do right by a little boy who needs someone. Enjoy your session with Rick. 